Hey survivors, Keith K here, and today we've got another quick crafting tutorial for The Forest, the horror survival game from End Night Games. This game can be a bit of a tough grind, and in this series, I hope to take some of the guesswork out of the various items that you can craft and how to use them throughout the game. So um, if you want to uh, get notification as these come out, please do consider subscribing. And with that, let's get to it. First up, let's get to our crafting menu. So you're gonna press I for inventory. And this opens up your crafting menu. Here you have all the inventory that you're carrying uh, and this pad here in the middle where you can add items and then attempt to craft them. And when something is craftable, you'll get this little gear icon. And if you hover over it, you can see everything that can be crafted. All right, and today we're gonna to take a look at everything to do with the bow and arrow. So we'll craft the bow um, and we'll look at the two different types of arrows that you can craft and then variations um, or uh, applications you can put on those arrows to uh, make them more effective um, in different ways. So let's start off with just grabbing a stick and we can hover over our crafting gear here and uh, you can see that the crafted bow requires one stick, one rope and one cloth. All right, so we'll right click to put all those on our little crafting pad and then we're going to right click to combine these. So now we've got our our bow. Um, you can upgrade the bow to a bow with a light. I don't have a flashlight at the moment, but you just need the flashlight, the bow and the electrical tape. Now the first thing I'm going to do is combine this with my backpack so that I can hotkey it to number three. All right, but we can't do anything with the bow yet because we don't have ammo. So we'll come back to our sticks here and you'll right click, uh, add your stick to your crafting menu here. And we're gonna start with the first one, just the straight up arrow, which is uh, five feathers and one arrow. So we'll add five feathers and we end up with five arrows here. So we'll go ahead and remove these and we'll make one more. So now we've got 10 all together. And we can remove these and they just get stacked over here. The other type of arrow that we can craft is the bone arrow, which is a little further down the crafting menu here. That is five bones, five feathers, and one stick. So we do have bones. All right. And you can see they look a little bit different. The arrowheads are bone. Um, and you can, you can upgrade these to either poisoned arrows or incendiary arrows. And the same is true of the, the regular. So you basically are moving five of these at a time, a batch of five, if you will. And uh, same thing is true here. So uh, you can craft poisoned arrows or incendiary arrows. Um, we've got what we need for the incendiary arrows here. So uh, we will add one bottle of booze and one cloth and combine that. You'll see that these turn red. Okay, we'll just remove these. Um, and then we'll take a look at poisoned arrows. Now before we can craft poisoned arrows, we need to be able to gather berries. And in order to gather berries, we've got to have a pouch. And I'll show you why here in just a second. So if you approach any berry bush that you might run into, <clears throat> looks like these have been picked already. Here we go. You'll see that you can only eat them and we don't want to eat them. So what are we gonna do? Actually, we'll eat some dried meat. Um, we need some rabbit fur and you'll see from the crafting menu here, two rabbit furs will give us a pouch. So go ahead and craft that. And you do need to equip it. You can't just have it um, available. You've got to equip it. And you'll see that now instead of eating the berries, we can go ahead and collect them. If we go back to our inventory, 
we'll see that we've gathered some twin berries. Now let's see what other berries are here. Now those look like blueberries, which are always good to have on hand for food. Let's see if we can find some snow berries. Now those look like twin berries again. Yeah, here's some snow berries. Okay, so now if we go back to our crafting menu, you can see we've gathered blueberries, snow berries, and twin berries. Now let's grab just one of our uh, arrows here. And you'll see you, you need four berries to create a poisoned arrow. So how many of these do I have? I got three. So four twin berries. Now there are several uh, berries and plants that you can use to poison um, your arrows. Twin berries and snow berries are two of them. And you'll see that this turns green. Okay. Now if we go ahead and equip our bow and arrow, it now is equipped with the green poisoned arrow. Now the poisoned arrows are great uh, for fighting enemies because it will slow them down and slow their attack and also uh, damage them over time. Now, maybe you didn't want the, the poison arrows, and it's not really obvious how you change. You can't use the wheel. Um, you just look down, okay, and you see the R comes up where you can switch. So here now is our, our bone arrows, and these do 40% more damage than the wood arrows. Um, and they're good against small game. They're also good against uh, enemies if you need a ranged attack. All right, and the uh, wood arrows will do fine with the rabbits and the small small game. Um, I find the wood arrows aren't that great with um, larger prey or with enemies. However, they're good at you know for ranged, so you can pepper them with some arrows, uh, hit them with uh, the poison arrows to slow them down, and then switch to a melee weapon. Last thing I wanted to show you is. fire arrow, you do need to light that. You'll see that the lighter comes up. And you do need to light the fire arrow in order to use it. And it will, if it doesn't kill them right away, it will light them on fire. As far as aiming, I find that the, the stick that is pointing uh, works pretty well as an aim point. You can recover your arrows along with your, your meat. All right, and that's going to do it for this video. If you got something out of it, please do give a like. It lets me know uh, what to focus on in terms of the, the types of next videos to create. And um, you know, definitely subscribe if you'd like to get more of these. And as always, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate the support. Take care, everybody.